So let me just uh, go over this spread with you. The first card that I have here, basically, so I'm, I'm reading these energies as you, okay? This is a card about financial stability. This is a card about holding on tightly to our resources as well. Mainly because, you know, we believe that it is stable, it is solid, and we are trying to, um, we're trying to build it so that it has more value. What I do feel overall is uh, a lot of you might be in a position of prominence. So for example, you might be a manager, a, um, a coordinator, or you might be in a position where you handle a lot of different projects. And I do feel that in some ways, the, the work itself has a lot of financial stability. Um, and you're comfortable with it. You're used to it. But I do feel that you are looking for more options to branch out. Okay. You're looking for other companies or you're looking at other companies to see if their pay scale is going to be higher, if they're going to allow you to move, if they're going to allow you to travel, because I feel like there is a sense of stagnation doing the work because of financial stability. But further down the line, you might not see that, um, within this current work environment, there might not be other opportunities for you to really advance or to really, you know, get a promotion or to really get a pay increases. So I feel like some of you might be in a work environment where you are starting to max out on the amount that you can make. And you are at a place where it's uh it's a little bit safe it's very secure it's very stable the job itself day in and day out it's very stable but you're not able to advance any further i also feel some of you have stayed at a place mainly because you know you're trying to rack up the pension and the retirement and and so that you can re retire with a very good you know benefits package so i feel that you're trying to figure out like, do I retire now or should I uh, tough it out for another few years doing the same work? You might have some health issues bothering you and you might want to retire early or retire uh, without having to put in that those extra years. So I do feel a lot of decisions are culminating for this month. Okay, like a lot of things are happening where they're really telling you to make decisions. And um, on the one hand, I feel like the timing in which these decisions are happening, it feels to me as if you thought you had more time to plan things out, okay? So for example, if you took a new job, you know, within the past five years, and you're saying, oh, I'll stay there for seven years total, and then I'll retire, that way I can accumulate a little bit more wealth, I feel like there might be, you know, health issues associated with you, or even like instability associated with the environment where you might have to, you know, retire early. So I do feel a lot of decisions are being made here. And these are long lasting, important decisions that actually will dictate, you know, the trajectory of the rest of your life. So these are not light decisions. And I feel like you're mulling it over. Okay. Um, I'm also feeling some of you maxing out in the income generating potential in the current job, and you're trying to move forward. And on the other hand, I do sense as well, um, there might have been a lack of opportunities in the past, okay? Lack of uh, job opportunities. Um, when you went out to look for new work, they might not have come in abundantly, so you settle for this job. So it's possible, but I feel that you're no longer... Um, you're no longer happy with it. You, you want some change and you want new energy to come through. So the career sector with this card here, the sun, this is greatly about our prof professional life, our overall success and our overall sense of like uh, satisfaction with our own lives, with all areas and sectors of our lives. So what they are saying here is that you want to balance out all the different areas. So for example, family life, you know, we need to take care of that first. We also need to take care of our health. So one of the reasons why you might be unhappy with the job situation, if your health is not at its best, right? If your health, if your vitality, if you're feeling drained, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling as if you don't have time to be physically active, for example, it's really going to filter into other areas of your life and uh, put a damper on it as well. So the only thing I feel is, you know, finances are going really well, but it's also at the expense of your health. So you really want to make sure you have that separation of work-life balance and take the time to really take care of your health and put the money on the back burner. Okay. So that's, that's really important as well. Um, 
I do feel this energy and I'm it's not going to apply to all people. This is a card about, you know, clinging on to something because we see there is inherent value in it. And we might have done it for quite some time. And, you know, you are a fixed sign as well. So I've mentioned this for Scorpio. I've mentioned this for Aquarius. But I feel like with the Aquarius people, your polar opposites, uh, they hang on to ideologies. They hang on to ideologies and um, they don't sway. And it's really hard to convince them to think otherwise. But I feel like in this spread, it might be clinging on physically to things, to, to things, objects that you feel has a lot of value and it hasn't shown its value in the past but you are still clinging on to it and people are objecting and they're telling you don't do that get rid of it you know clinging on to things such as a relationship even or even a property and it's causing you a lot of loss for example and uh, clinging on to a specific outcome I feel for some of you clinging on to a situation, not letting it go, mainly because you're like, it's going to pan out, it's it's going to be different this time. Or it's going to, if I shape it, if I mold it, if I really work at it, it's going to have a different outcome. And I feel that a lot of people around you have been telling you that this might not be the way to go. Because you're clinging on to it, you might also be keeping yourself very trapped, very stuck, very stagnant. And so the advice here is to to let go of some things to realize what hasn't been successful and hasn't given you the outcome that you wanted in the past so that you can just, you know, move past it. And I know it's easier said than done, but I feel that it's really important for you to, you know, look at other opportunities, okay? So I feel as if there's a lot happening this month and you're not confident enough to make a decision. That's what it seems like to me. And a lot of decisions are culminating this month. You know, where am I moving? Who should I be with? Is this relationship, partnership worth it? So a lot of you might be in a relationship here with this person. This is uh, shown up here as a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I feel like they're urging you to make a decision. And they feel like you're dragging your feet. And I do feel that the, the impatience coming from this person that you love and that really loves you, it's one of the most uh, difficult thing that you're contending with, okay? And at the same time, there's this overall, I feel like this this dissatisfaction with your work situation, wanting to um, get a promotion, but not not feeling as if the environment supports that. Or feeling as if you are maxed out on your income generating potential and they're telling you to really branch out and look ahead but you're thinking back at the last time that you try to branch out and look ahead and you have been faced with disappointment and so they're telling you to re-examine this one more time maybe back then it wasn't the right time but now it is and so look at this situation with a fresh pair of uh, lens like with a fresh pair of eyes so that you don't repeat the mistakes from the past, but also so that you don't beat yourself up over it and know that, you know, it wasn't meant before, but maybe if I put more effort into it this time, it's going to pan out wonderfully for me. So, Leos, I rarely see this in your reading, but I do feel that um, you are very, um, it's almost like I, I feel fear. I feel fear based on the spread. Um, you know, the, the devil that you know versus new opportunities that can be incrementally a lot better for you. But I feel like you're sticking with something because of the security, because of the safety, and that's not like you as a fire sign. So I feel like we have to re-examine uh, some, some options, some choices here. And I honestly feel that if you have been keeping yourself very isolated for whatever reason, you need to start to branch out um, once again with the the community okay fire signs need to have other people need to be linked in need to have networks need to interact with a lot of people in order for you to find your drive find your ambition find your passion so i feel like if you have been set, um keeping yourself very like isolated and not going out as much or not connecting with people, you are going to need to branch out through the process of interacting with other people. You start to find your footing. You start to find your reason to be again. Okay. So 
I hope the reason, um, the reading, excuse me, has been helpful for you. So let me just um, say this. The, the Scorpio reading was all about letting go. And I feel like they have let go in the past. And that's why new energies are trying to come through for them. And I feel like for you guys, it's about not making a decision. And they're saying that you need to make a decision. You need to make a decision. You need to move things along because uh, fire cannot stagnate okay so I, I feel that one of the things you want to be careful about is um and I mentioned this before you have a really strong sense of loyalty to people and uh, when you have a shared history with somebody you almost consider them your family and once you put a label on it you know all oh, their family we live together we're family it becomes really, really hard for you to detach yourself from situations and to see the other person objectively. So I feel like some of you might have kept people in your lives that are not good for you, but you've kept them in your lives because of that sense of, you know, having a common history, because of that sense that, you know, a family of like, um, common, common upbringing common background and that that sense of being able to relate to another person because they understand what you're going through but a lot of the times people come into our lives they're there for a specific period of time we learn from them and oftentimes we outgrow each other and that means we have already completed that phase of that relationship we're meant to move on we're meant to learn from other people we're meant to learn from life we're meant to be on our own in, in some instances and so I feel like that's what's happening here. And um, I do feel this lack of being able to make a decision, being able to make a choice might be the fact that you have always been surrounded by people. And it's really hard for you to really sit down and figure out what do I want as an individual? Aries are really good at that. What do I need as an individual? Scorpios are really good at that. And so I feel like in the process of having a lot of people buzzing around you all the time, in the process of being very group oriented, you might not have a sense of true identity. Like, you know, what do I need to do right now? What do I need to make me happy? What do I need to do as an individual? And it's, it's rare for me to see this for a fire sign, but I feel like that's the case. You might have been working towards a common goal and purpose with another person. And that was your identity, you know, working as a unit, working together to def um, against all odds. And then when you find yourself alone, you might start to think, wait a minute, that wasn't something that I really wanted. That wasn't, you know, my my purpose. That wasn't my intention. And it, it's something that as a unit, yes, it makes sense. But as an individual, that's not something that I want. So we're, we feel a little bit pigeonhole. It's, it's almost like, you know, things just... Um, it's like things gain traction, they gain momentum, and then you start to think that's what you wanted. But now this is the month in which you have to really reassess what you want as an individual. So let me talk about the past here. The past is a situation, the three of coins. And um, this is a really good relationship that you have been in or you are still thinking about whether or not to leave. The three of uh, pentacles basically means, you know, two people that are very responsible coming together, wanting to build a foundation, wanting to buy a house, wanting to build a life together. So I feel like you have somebody who's very solid, who's very practical and who's very much on your side. They're willing to work with you. They're willing to chip in. So this is like a reciprocity, both parties or whatever, um, how many, however many parties there are, everybody's willing to do their share in order to contribute to the growth of a relationship. What I have as well is the eight of cups and the eight of cups is a situation where, you know, we have invested a lot of our time and our energy and our resources in a situation. So I feel for some of you, there was a relationship that you left behind here, or there is a relationship that is still growing is still forming the other person is still on board but somebody is um thinking about removing themselves or thinking about checking out of the relationship which brings us to the present moment and i feel some of you are dealing here with an air sign so this is an aquarius a gemini or a libra and this is somebody that is very intelligent um they're they have a no-nonsense approach so if you choose to walk out i don't feel this person is going to do that you know it's going to be like, oh, um, so if you choose to walk out, 
I don't feel they're going to allow that, that entry for you to come back. If, on the other hand, they choose to walk out, I do feel as well that you're not going to be receptive and open to them coming back on their own terms. So there is um, something I feel is final here with an air sign. And it's corroborated here with this card, the Ten of um, Swords. The end of Swords is kind of like the end of a line. But there's still some financial resources that needs to be divvied up between the two of you. So we have a situation here where it's done, it's over with. And I feel that the air sign that you were dealing with, so the Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, they are very distraught. They are very heartbroken. They will never show it to you that they that you've hurt them. Or, you know, if you were the one moving away, I feel like they, they were very hurt by it. But things are coming to a satisfactory closing and it's it's kind of like um an end for good okay it, on the other hand i have this person here this is a king of cups so this is a water sign male or female so um pisces cancer and scorpio this is somebody that i feel has a little bit of a mixed feelings about you so mixed feelings basically means that on the one hand they, they still really care about you. They want to make sure you're okay. But on the other hand, I feel that um, there, there's some resentment. There's some hurt feelings here. But they still are willing to leave that, that door of communication open just to see where you're at. They're still able to, you know, um, talk things out. So I feel like the communication is not done and over with. This is somebody that still cares a, a lot and they they, they want to make sure you're okay. So reconciliation is very possible with this um, water sign. And I do sense as well. I do feel that um, for some of you, I, I'm feeling like this is somebody that really does have, you know, unconditional love for you and they just want you to be okay. So even if you were to leave this relationship behind for good, there's still going to be friendship. It's going to be transformed into friendship because I don't see animosity and things like that between you and this person. In the foundation, the foundation is something that you already know to be true. We have here the Ten of Cups. You're with somebody or you were with somebody that made you feel really good. Okay. Um, they were very emotionally supportive. They were very nurturing. And I'm not talking about the end of the relationship. I mean, like through the duration of the relationship, because towards the end, you know, that's when the, the feelings are a little bit more raw. But through the progression of the relationship, I feel like some of you might have lived together, might have been married, might have had like joint savings, you know, like you really built a future together. And um, I do feel for some of you, you might have had children together. You might have co-parented together. There was a lot of love here. There's a lot of a great deal of love and passion and, you know, mutual respect for one another. And there's this sense of like um, that you both were walking on the same path, that you have the, the, the same goals together. And um, the other person that you were involved with, I feel, we have here the Empress. And this is somebody that's very loving, very nurturing, okay, very beautiful as well. And... They want, somebody still wants to work things out with you. Could be this water sign here. Whereas with the air sign, it's done. But I feel like a, a water sign wants to work things out with you. But I feel that you're going to be shifting away from it, moving away from it, and starting a new path for yourself here. Okay? Um, I do sense, though, that because of all the uncertainty that you're feeling and because of that sense of loyalty... I feel like one of the questions that you really want to ask yourself is, you know, whether or not you should walk away or stay in a relationship. You want to ask yourself, first of all, am I going to lose that person? If the answer is yes, then you might want to ask yourself a follow-up question, which is, if you lose that person, is that one of the fears that's forcing you to stay in the relationship? Because I feel like there can be a transformation here. A relationship partner can be transformed into a friend. Okay, so I don't feel that you're going to lose that person. But I do feel it's really important for you to figure out at the baseline level what you need to be happy because I feel like the relationship was very dependent. It was like a mirroring effect. One person mirrors another and then the other person, 
uh, loses a sense of themselves. So I feel like you're going off on a journey, not only to be single and play the field, but more to, you know, find yourself for self-discovery. And I also feel as well, there was the comfort and the stability. And the other person really loves you. So you felt very safe in that relationship, right? You felt very safe because they have like unconditional love for you. But at the heart of it, is that something that you want? Do you want to be taken care of? Or do you want to find something that is a little bit more, you know, like uh, exciting, something that is a little bit more reciprocal? So I, I feel like there's some things here about uh, feeling a little bit stuck in a relationship and wanting to explore, wanting to experiment a little bit more. And it's not just on a sexual, physical level, but I feel like you want a little bit more out of life. And you feel like you have been defined by the expectations of the relationship. So, for example, this is just an example. So, for an, for example, you, you might have two children, right? You marry another person that has like two children of his or her own. And so your identity has been the homemaker because uh, for whatever reason, there are four kids now in the picture. And if your partner is working and you're not, your identity was very wrapped up into, you know, the caretaking aspect. Or the person, um, the relationship was very much about the other person. And so I feel that you want to get out of that. You don't want to be pigeonholed into doing these roles. And you feel that you need to start over. You need to really find yourself. And you really need to find the role that makes you happy. Which brings us into the future. We have here the chariot. This basically denotes to me a major move that's happening. We have as well the Four of Cups, overcoming sadness and sorrows, okay? So the Four of Cups is usually drawing within, looking at all the other options that we have, and seeing what's panning out the best for us, as well as the Three of Wands. So I feel that some of you are leaving a relationship, and this is the month in which you might, you know, make a huge shift, like geographical change like changing your geographical location. Some of you are dealing with some, um, I, I feel like nostalgia regarding that relationship, but you're also welcoming new opportunities. Um, I don't feel a lot of people who are, you know, single dating. If you are single and dating, um, I have here a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody who's very loving and I feel like it would be a very good match for you. They're de devoted, very, very uh, empathic and um, responsible, like emotionally very responsible and very receptive. And then I also have here an air sign, so male or female, an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra. This is somebody who's a little bit more of a smart aleck and I feel like they've been through um, their share of bad relationships. Okay. So they're a little bit cynical. They're a little bit more like, uh, they're, they're very aloof, not because, you know, it's their personality, but I feel like they've been through their fair share of disappointment. So they're going to take their time and they're not like idealistic and, you know, starry eyed and rushing into relationships. So it's going to take some time to develop the love and the rapport with that air sign person. And I also feel like there might be some, um, some of you who are single, newly single, especially too. I don't feel that you're ready for, for dating yet. I feel that you want to be on your own. You want to find some new things, enroll in some new classes is what I'm sensing. And I feel as if, I feel as if you're not really getting out there to date. Okay. So that's what I'm sensing here for singles who are single and looking. So we have the air sign in, in the water sign. And I feel that there, is, there will be some relationship snags for those of you in stable relationships. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, balancing out the give and take in the relationship and uh, not feeling as if one person uh, is doing all the housework and the other person is not chipping in. So that's really important. Okay. Okay. 